Hello everyone, myself Neil Kumar currently studying King George's Medical University, a third year MBBS student. Today in this video, I will talk about the posting of emergency medicine. So without further ado, let's get started. Now here what you are seeing is the doctor making round. When the doctor make round their team and they move from room to room, visiting patients, discussing their diagnosis, test result and plan. Doctor use the opportunity to tease their trainees when appropriate. If a patient is new to the team, one of the team will present the case, provide the complete summary of the patient history, physical finding and the test result, followed by a list of possible diagnosis and a plan of testing and treatment. Now you can see here various amount of medical product. When the medical product are arranged properly, there are so many advantages associated with it. Some of them are it helps to prioritize work of staff it make it quick for new staff to get used to product and where they are it minimize wrong drug and even dosing error a poor arrangement can cause error whereby another product may be mistaken for another this could normally occur when names sound familiar it helps to track out the out of stock saves times and energy because the work output is high for a example, a good example is Cinesmet. That sounds like some brand of Cimatidin. Also, some drug come in two strength. It is possible to mistake one for another if not properly arranged. To achieve the above, it is vital that all the new staffs are introduced to arrangement on first date. Every staff must know about the arrangement. Now in this video you can see a patient who is on ventilator. The mechanical ventilators are the machine that act as a bellows to move air in and out of the lung. Your respiratory therapist and the doctor set the ventilator to control how often it pushes air into your lung and how much air you get. You may be fitted with a mask to get air from the ventilator into your lungs. Now the patient which you are seeing in front of you is the case of opioid overdose. The sign and symptom can be the breathing will be very slow, the lips and nails can be blue, the person will not be moving, the person might be choking and you can hear the gurgling sound also and the person will not wake up and the skin will feel very cold and the people will look very tinny. In this patient the opioid depresses the respiratory drive. The overdose is characterized by apnea, meiosis, and stupor. It severely reduced respiratory rate result in hypoxemia, leading to cerebral hypoxia and impaired consciousness. Cardiac arrest is a late complication of opioid overdose and secondary to respiratory arrest and hypoventilation. Now the process which you are seeing in front of you is gastric lavage which is also known as stomach wash or gastric suction and is the process of cleaning out all the content of stomach and it is used for eliminating the poisons from the stomach. Now I will show you some of the medicine and what are their use. The first one is the magnesium sulfate, it is used for preventing the seizure in the woman with severe preeclampsia and it is also used for slowing or stopping premature labor and the third is used is protecting the brains of premature baby. Now the next drug is norepinephrine or non-adrenaline. The, the clinical use of this drug is in shock and it is also used in hypotension due to drug poisoning especially due to chlorpromazine and the third use is hemorrhage in the upper elementary canal upper elementary tract now the next drug is a diuretic which is furosemide and the use of this is it is used in edema associated with heart failure also used in hypertension acute pulmonary edema and it is also used in nephrotic syndrome Now the next drug is adrenaline. Adrenaline has many uses. One of the main use 
His medical use adrenaline in medicine is used to treat many conditions such as cardiac arrest, anaphylaxis and superficial bleeding. Adrenaline is also used in asthma and as a local anesthetic. Atropine sulfate injection is used to treat bradycardia that is slow heart rate. It is also helps to restore the normal heart rate in the cardiac arrest cases. This injection is also given before general anesthesia to reduce saliva secretion and it even works as an antidote to some insecticide poisoning. Tranexamic acid, it is also sometimes known as TXA, is a medicine that controls bleeding. It helps your ble- uh, blood to clot and is used for nose bleeding and heavy periods. If you are having a tooth taken out, using the tranexamic acid mouthwash can help stop bleeding. Now, midazolam. Midazolam is used before surgery or a procedure. It helps to cause drowsiness, decrease anxiety, and to decrease your memory of the surgery or procedure. This medicine is used for to help with anesthesia or to sedate the people who need a tube or the machine to help with breathing. Sodium chloride injection is used to replenish the lost water and the salt in your body due to certain conditions like hyponatremia or low salt syndrome. It is also used as an additive for total parental nutrition that is TPN and carbohydrate containing IV fluids. Ciprofloxacin is used to treat or prevent certain infection caused by the bacteria such as pneumonia, gonorrhea which is a sexual transmitted disease, typhoid fever which is a serious infection which is common in developing country, infectious diarrhea, the the infection that causes severe diarrhea and the infection of skin, bone and joint. Now what you are seeing is a doctor doing electrode placement for ECG. A 12 lead ECG involves the use of 10 electrode, 6 on the chest and 4 on the limbs. Begin by checking the expiry date of the electrode to ensure they are within date. It is important to ensure each electrode has good skin contact which may involve cleaning or saving the area where you need to place the electrode. If this is the case, make sure to explain this clarity to the patient and gain consent before proceeding. Now you can see here, one of my colleague is doing arterial blood gas sampling procedure. The healthcare professional should wear gloves and eye protection for the duration of arterial blood gas sampling procedure and should follow the hospital policies regarding management of body fl- samples. The arterial pulse is felt with the middle and the index finger of non-dominant hand both fingers should be proximal to the desired puncture site placing the non-dominant middle finger distally and the dominant non-dominant sorry non-dominant index finger proximally with the needle insertion site in between is strongly discouraged because of increased risk of needle stick injury in this patient we are seeing whether the rails tube which is just a place at the nose of the patient we are seeing whether the rails tube is inserted correctly on this stom- uh, uh, patient stomach or not. For this, we have to just uh, pump the air by using the syringe and lesion with the help of a stethoscope placing on the abdomen. A gargling sound will present and that will confirm it. 